एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू क्रिएट अ पेशेंट इन ओपन ई एम आर सो टू डू दिस देर आर टू स्क्रीन और टू ऑप्शन टू ओपन द सेम स्क्रीन वन इज अ फाइंडर द टॉप मेनो वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दैट दैर इज अ पेशेंट लिस्ट एंड एन एड न्यू बटन ओवर हियर वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन इट विल ओपन सर्च और एड पेशेंट स्क्रीन The same screen can be opened up from another menu called Patients New Search menu. Yeah, so this is the form where a patient can be created. To start with, there there is few basic mandatory fields need to be filled to create a patient. So I'm just creating basic fields. to create a patient yeah it's filled up so going ahead to create a patient so this in open emr it will check the database for any duplication occurs so if the same name with same details already exist in open emr it will show the list we can check whether it is a duplicate or if it is a unique patient we can go ahead creating them so now the patient has been created and opens up the patient dashboard so this is the patient dashboard where all the information of the patient can be viewed in the single screen and we can edit the details here and view them now let's see how to edit the patient so this is the demographics basic details of the patient uh, it has only the mandatory fields filled in while creating so let's see how to edit there is an edit icon over here we can edit click on that to open the edit screen so just we will check how to edit i'm just adding an initial here and maybe in the contact i'm just putting the address let's save and see whether the patient is updated when we click on the demographics the patient is updated so this is how the patient is created and updated in open emr similar to this all the patient history related information can be added in the history section over here where we want to click the edit button this will open up the general the risk factors the test uh, on exams if the patient has already undergone that can be recorded over here and just putting the course vein hypertension information like alcohol and what is the status are you doing that currently all the information history of the patient will be recorded here so once it is saved that information will be saved and reports is just to taking the print out of the uh, patient information and the documents this all the print outs of the documents whatever patient has can be scanned and uploaded over the document section so in the same screen i will show you how to update the patient's profile picture here so in the documents the patient you can see the patient photograph here when you click on that we need to choose a file in a profile picture and we need to upload so once the picture is uploaded we want to refresh the screen we need to um, open the patient again to see the profile picture updated so you can see the profile is updated so this is how the patient is created and profile pictures are updated then doctor explain how to edit the patient creation form yes so the patient creation form can also be edited uh, the the current form may not be required for all the clinics some clinics they require additional fields and some they want to remove the existing fields so for that open emr already has a feature to customize this form so we will just see how to do that to customize this search or edit patient form we need to go to the admin screen here and the forms we need to go to the layouts so demographics is already in layout form so here we need to select demographics 
you can see all the demographics menus here who all the fields contact choices all the demographics fields will be there let's go ahead and remove a field under who let's remove let's remove this billing note who billing note we need to select whichever field that need to be deleted or updated and we need to select unused so required means a mandatory field optional is, is not a mandatory field and unused means this field will will not be used in the form anymore after changing we need to click save changes once it is saved let's go to this form and refresh it to see whether our changes are reflected yes the billing notes has been removed similarly we can add new fields let's add a new field to the who section so i'm just adding a hospital number something and let's put it is an optional and data type is what kind of a field it is for us for this one we, we can just put a text box is enough and this is some minimum and maximum size of the field and this is the placement of the field in the form i will just put 1 3 for now and let's create save new field button once it is saved let's go here and refresh the form to see the field is now it is added hospital number is added over here let's see whether this form is saved now for the same patient we created let's go ahead and edit the form and input some number for the field that we just created i'm going to save it so you can see it is already saved so this is how the patient creation form is customized you can add or edit fields as per your requirement i guess this video will be helpful for you let's meet in the next video thank you